There was a video, uh, I did a response to it actually, called, I Don't Want to Be a Patriot, and, uh, that was a fascinating little video, because it's actually inspired a secondary thought to me, which is, I was listening to a, I'll put a link in for it, uh, tracked by a fellow's name called, uh, Roy Zimmerman, He's got his own channel here on YouTube, uh, he likes... I like some of his songs, some of them, uh, he's a guy's a bit rude in the left-right paradigm. And, uh, though, to be honest, he is starting to get around that, to his great uh, credit. Nevertheless, he did a song called I Approve This Message, which I consider one of, to be one of the best songs I've heard in a very long time. And he, more or less, I mean, over the last week or two, I've really had to think about what free speech actually means. Now, without giving you the play-by-play -play drama of what's been happening, well, you, you take a look at a couple of my more recent videos. One is a reply to uh, New World Order is Bunk. Uh, one is a reply to New World Order is Bunk 1. And, you know, you look at songs like I Approve This Message, and you realize that the secret to freedom of speech is you're not going to agree with the person. Yet as long as you remember the phrase your rights end where my rights begin, you're not going to have a problem with it. You know, let's say a person is an avowed national socialist, a fascist, okay? Let's so they've completely jumped the shark, they wear the uniform, they love the swastika, uh, reversed, may I add. That's their thing. If they're just doing it as their own clothing, they're not trying to make everyone else wear it, and they're just... They will advocate, if you give them a platform, their ideals, and they will print out a newsletter to anyone who'll take one, you know what, in a free speech society, they're allowed to. Conversely, you're allowed to advocate ideas that people uh, want to hear, as well as the ones they don't. People have called me a conspiracy theorist and a bunch of other things I'm not going to mention on air because I don't do swearing on this program or it's a program, it's a channel. Uh, and one person said, I will not nurse this person's mental illness. Ouch. I mean it really, ow. However, they had an equal right to say that as much as I had a right to post any sort of rebuttal that I wished. So, what is freedom of speech? Freedom of speech and independent sovereignty is the idea that in a public forum the public can go at each other up to the point that freedom of speech ends and freedom of action comes into conflict with other people's freedom of action. I don't believe in shouting people down. I believe in letting people speak their peace. Though I do believe that if time is a problem, then most certainly you can impose limits on everybody who speaks and impose the same limitations. And to quote Forrest Gump, that's about all I've got to say on that one.